Amen. Amen. Uh, so great to see you all. And new faces, maybe not for me, but for some of you. We can say hello to each other. Looks like uh, the ministry is growing. Amen. Thank you for being here with us and worship Lord Jesus' name today and every day, but especially today, being together, because um, that's what Jesus wants us. That's the, that's the purpose. He formed a church, right? To be together, to encourage each other, to help each other, and to just smile to each other. And uh, for those who would like to join us maybe next time in person, if you like, what you see here, you can find us uh, on the social medias and I'm going to give you the address of this location. It's an English service at 11 a.m. And the location is 8461 Garden Grove Boulevard. We're located in the city of Garden, Garden Grove. So for those who want to join us and for those who want to join uh, Vietnamese service, we also have at 3 p.m. A location that's uh, in the city of Westminster, the address 14200 Golden West Street. So for those who prefer uh, Vietnamese, 14200 Golden West Street, Westminster. And for those who want to open your Bible today, prepare your Bibles, uh, we're going to be uh, uh, reading a Psalm 52, uh, verses 1 to 9. And then... Pastor Joshua will, will be preaching, continue preaching uh, from the first Samuel chapter 10 verses 1 12. So for all of you who want to open your Bible, be prepared. Uh, you have the information. And we're gonna have a wonderful service. Wonderful because uh, God is with us. And without him, we can do anything. There's impossible that we can be successful in this world and pass this world to another without our Savior. So let's start with the opening prayer and welcome our Savior, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, that you gather your children here, all our brothers and sisters and friends, maybe those who still want your mercy. Father, maybe this is the day they're going to turn into you and be saved forever. And thank you for your mercy. We know that you're, you're rich in mercy. And we know that we didn't deserve all this life, all these things, all these miracles happening to our life. Because we are sinners. But you came and you washed the sins forever. And we're so thankful, God, that you're, you sacrificed your son to do that mission. His mission is accomplished. And we want to praise your name forever. And thank you for being here, Lord, your presence, your Holy Spirit, in this wonderful place, with this wonderful people, worshiping your name, Jesus Christ. We pray, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's start with uh, uh, Sister Catherine will be reading, just like I mentioned before, in Psalm 52. Sister Catherine. It's my privilege today to read the word uh, God. It's in Psalms 52, 1 through 9. And it says, God judges the proud. The choir director of Masakel David. And he reported that David went about to uh, Emelimelech's. How you say it? House. Why boast about evil, you hero? God's faithful love is constant. Like a sharpened razor, your tongue despises destruction and working treachery. Your love, you love evil instead of good, lying instead of speaking truthful, see love. You love evil instead of good and lying instead of speaking truthful, Selah. But you love your words that destroy and the treacherous tongue. That is why God will bring you down forever. He will take you, ripping you out of your tent 
and he will uproot you from the land of the living, Selah. He will take you, rip you out of your tent, and he will uproot you from the land of the living, Selah. The righteous will see and fear, and they will decisively say about that hero, here is a man who would not make God a refuge, but trusted in the abundance of riches, taking refuge in the destructive behavior. But I am like a flourishing olive tree in the house of God. I trust in God's faithful love forever and forever. I will praise you forever for what you have done. In the presence of your faithful people, I will put hope in your name, for it is good. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word today. Thanks be Thank you, Sister Catherine. Thank you for reading the psalm. We love psalms. There is uh, so much knowledge, so much wisdom you can find, and it's easy to read. This is the part the uh, Lord gave us. For those maybe who want to start the, the journey with the Bible, uh, you can start from psalms, and then you might continue, because God's Word is holy. And uh, especially New Testament, we want to know the New Testament because the, this is the letter wrote from Jesus to each of us, yes. right? Yes. And without knowing what's His will, the life we're going to go through will be just struggling. Yes. So for those who still hesitate to open the Bible and start studying, I, I'm telling you that once you open the Bible, once you start studying God's Word, you, your life will be changed Amen. forever. Amen. Because just like the word, word of God says, His Word is like a two-edged sword. And it's showing what's good, what's bad. And open your mind. And, and, and this is, this is life-changing. So for everyone who wants to start a journey with the Bible, or you can always come to us come to Pastor Joshua and ask for guidance. But first, put, put God first. Ask God for your, for your wisdom, for your knowledge, whatever your, your lack of, whatever you're missing, ask Him. Because He's blessing people abundantly. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, for all of you. And now, are you guys ready for music? Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to invite a worship team and the leader, Pastor Joshua Luke. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a great joy to see all of you once again. Are you ready to praise and worship the King of Glory? Hallelujah. Are you there to praise the King of Glory? Amen and amen. And we love to see all of you here in this place. And please come and join the worship together with us. We love to see you in person. And God is going to bless all of us abundantly. And today, we see many of uh, the young children here, right? So we pray for Marcia, we pray for Lukey, we pray for Jacob, and Sister Lena's son also. So that next time, we also need to look for the Sunday school teacher for them as well. Amen. So we need to train the next generation. So Lukey and Jacob, will you please just come here looking with your flag, right? And sing together with us. Amen. And we have Marcel play the tambourine as well. Hallelujah. What a worship team. Hallelujah. <laughs> and what a great joy to see all of you. And uh, just be feel free in the presence of the Lord. Okay? Just feel free. You want to clap your hands? You want to dance? You want to shout a shout of joy? Go ahead and do so in the presence of the Lord. And uh, we just enjoy as today we are going to learn more about the topic on the anointing. Let us just pray that God is going to <coughs> provide us. God is going to anoint us. God is going to empower all of us with more of His oil, with more of His anointing. And somebody will say, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Let us also pray for the brother Stephen uh, that he's also said he's coming for to join us also Sunday morning as well and some other people. So let us just pray that God is going to fill this place 
with the great warriors of God. Amen. Turn to one another and say, you are the warriors of God. Yes, do you know that we are all the warriors of God? Amen. Hallelujah. Give me oil in my land, give me burning. Give me oil in my land, I pray hallelujah. Give me oil in my land, give me burning. Give me burning to the break of day.
let us pray that God is going to give us that oil, that anointing of God, the strength of God, and the power of God, so that we will have strength to serve Him. We have the anointing to serve Him. And we continue to sing hallelujah to the Lamb, because He is worthy of our praise and worship. Let us come to the Lord right now. We thank to Him. Declare to God. We are here to worship you. Amen. God, we are here to search for you. Amen. God, we are here to desire for more of you. And God, we are here to receive of your dream and your vision. God, we are here to love you more. Lord, we are here to say that we need you and need you in every moment of Amen. our life. Amen.
come into your presence right now. We ask the Holy Spirit to come and feel upon our life right now, Father. We pray for the blood of Jesus. We cover us and cleanse us right now in the name of Jesus. That every sickness will be healed in the name of Jesus. And every burden will be broken in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We will just raise our voice and give thanks to the Lord. And declare that every tongue, every tribe, every people, in every land, we give all the glory and the honor to the King of kings and the Lord of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen. Father, we thank you so much. And may your presence continue to be filled in this place, Father. And we declare that this is the air I breathe. And may your holy presence continue to live with us right now. Lord, all we are longing for is you. And you alone that we offer you all of our praise and worship, adoration and honor. Just captivate our heart and our soul, Father. We give you all the glory. This is the
declaration only for them. That we will join with the multitude of the angels to declare the glory, the honor, and the power belong to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. In Jesus' name. Lord, you are holy. You are holy forever. Holy forever, Lord. Your name is above all the earth, but there's only one thing higher, Lord, is your word. You said you placed your word above your name so that we could have you forever. So thank you, Father, for giving us the instructions in the book. Thank you, Father, that your word is you. And where the word is, the king is, and there is power. And God, by his word, casts out all evil spirits for us. Thank you, Father, for leaving us the instruction book. We're supposed to know this book before we leave to go to heaven. So help us, Holy Spirit, to teach us and train us and help us to study, to show ourselves approved, to workmen rightly divide in the Word of God, to prove what is the good and the perfect and the acceptable will of God. Help us, Holy Spirit, to have out of our belly flow rivers of living water, that we would be like a well-springed well, that, Father, we could spring up a well in, a, in people's hours and time of need, that we could be ambassadors for Christ. We could, Father, live in the Holy of Holies with you, seated in the heavenlies with the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, helping, helping guiding us, helping us, assuring us that this is the way God, walk, God wants us to walk ye therein. Help us, Holy Spirit, to hear your voice and to be led by you. No other God do we have but you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for pouring out your spirit today. Thank you, Father, for changing hearts and changing minds and changing lives today. Thank you, Father, for doing a new thing and it's springing forth now. Thank you, Father, for showing up in this beautiful, beautiful sanctuary today. We receive you today. The Holy Spirit, change us. Mold us, make us into anything you would have us to be. Holy Spirit, correct us. Show us, Father, where we're going in the wrong direction. Shut and slam all doors that we're going in the wrong way. Holy Spirit, we just want to learn how to love more. We want to be more like you. Love conquers, a love covers a multitude of sins. Love never fails. Love is kind. Love is gentle. Love is easy. Love does, is, is, is easily, easily entreated. Father, you said love never fails. So help us, Holy Spirit, to have a love walk. Help us, Holy Spirit, to not be ashamed of the love of God and the power of God and to go ahead and open our mouths and in everything give thanks for this is the will of God and Jesus Christ concerning us. Father, you said, let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. So, Holy Spirit, we have got a long way to come. We've got to be taken higher, Holy Spirit. Help us, Holy Spirit, as we yield our way to you. And we ask you, Father God, to change and correct and, and uproot and remove and, and do whatever it takes, Father, to make us into the mighty men and women of God you have for you want us to be. And that we would be the ambassadors of Christ, where people would come to us for the answer. And Lord, we thank you, Father, for doing it. And we love you so much, Lord. We just bless you and give you glory. We bless you and give you honor. Give us a good week. Give us safety, Lord. Help us, Father, to endure hardship like a good soldier. Help us, Holy Spirit, to accept hardship as a pathway for peace. Help us to live by the umpire of peace, the prince of peace that passes all understanding, and walk and talk the way we're supposed to walk and talk, Lord. And not be, not be shy, not be ashamed, not be, Father, stumbling over our words. Help us, Father, to have boldness as a lion. Let the lion of the tribe of Judah reign for real. Use us, Holy Spirit. Roar through us, Holy Spirit. Help us, Holy Spirit, to die daily and take up our cross and walk with you. Help us, Holy Spirit, to bury that dictator in the flesh that wants to kill, still, and destroy us. Bring division and bring, Father God, sickness and disease. 
Help us, Holy Spirit, to walk dead in this body with the Spirit of the Lord reigning, shining through our eyes and shining through our hands and shining out of our mouths. Holy Spirit, shine through us today. Make a difference. Help us to make a difference today, Lord. We are in your service. We are in your army. We're in the army of the Lord. So, Father, help us. Help us to just say one. Help us, Father, to just do our job. Help us, Holy Spirit, to stay in our own lane. Help us not to be you, Lord. Go too far. Help us to take our God hats off and only say what the Father says and only do what the Father says to do. Help us, Holy Spirit. Guide, guard, and keep us in our lane, Lord, so that you can command the blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Catherine, for the declaration of the power of our Lord Savior.